I'm going to do my presentation on Veronica Guerin. Veronica Guerin um, was born on the 5th of July and was murdered on the 26th of June in 1996. She was an Irish crime reporter um, and was murdered by drug lords. This helped establish the crime, criminal justice fiona because it was such a big case. There's also a film of Veronica Guerin. It was released in 2003. That's actually the cover of the film. And this is just a picture out of the film where she got beat up. It's an Irish crime film, and Kate Blanchett plays Veronica Guerin. She became a journalist in 1990. She often put her life at risk looking for first hand information. She used to go to the deep drug dealers themselves looking for interviews. Um, she also became good <coughs> friends with a convicted criminal, John Traynor. She then started to receive death threats off the other criminals because they didn't like. Um, how close she became to Trainer. There were two different gangs. There was Martin Cahill's gang and John Gilligan's, and they didn't like the fact that Trainer was so vocal with Veronica, exposing the hierarchy of their crime. Her first violence that happened against her happened in 1994. Um, two shots were fired into her home when she was at home on her home. After her, this happened after her first story on Martin Cahill was published, i.e. the general. And there's a picture of Martin Cahill. Veronica Guerin dismissed this warning, um, and then the day after, she wrote an article on the monk, um, Jerry Hutch. There's a picture of Jerry Hutch. On the 30th of January 1995, she answered a doorbell to a man, pointing a gun at her head. Fortunately for Veronica, it missed her head and hit her leg instead. There's Veronica in hospital. Um, she refused to give up on the reporting and um, carried on working as a reporter. John Gilligan, a convicted criminal, John Trainer's boss, attacked Veronica Guerin then um, as she conf confronted him about his lavish lifestyle when he had no source of his income. There's John Gilligan on the left. Um, he later called her home when she was at home and threatened to kidnap and rape her son and kill her if she wrote anything about him. There's a picture of her and her son. So Gilligan's drug gang members, um, on the evening of 25th of June 1996, Charles Bolden, Brian Meehan, Peter Mitchell, Seamus Ward met, and Charles Bolden, the gang's distributor, he supplied them with loaded revolvers. There's a few pi pictures of them, I couldn't get some pictures, but there's Charlie Bolden, um, John Trainer, Brian Meehan, and there's a few others, and John, John Gilligan's on the left. So then the murder took place on June of the 26th, 1996. Um, Veronica Guerin was stopped at a red traffic light on the Nace Road dual carriageway. She was unaware she was being followed. She was shot six times fatally by one of the two men on the motorbike. There was her car she was in, and that's actually at the crime scene, um, in her red car. Later the gang met again, but denied it was to expose of the weapon. Charles Bolden um, and the other members of Gilligan's gangs were then arrested. Um, Bolden agreed to turn into state's witness and became the first person to enter the Public of Ireland's Witness Protection Programme. He was granted immunity, immunity from pr prosecution, given evidence against Patrick Holland, Paul Ward, Brian Meehan and John Gilligan. I couldn't actually get a picture of John Bolden, um, but here then in 1998, Paul Hippo Ward, was convicted of the murder. He was sentenced to life in prison as an accomplice because he disposed of the murder weapon and the motorbike. This was later overturned on an appeal. So the aftermath. Brian Meehan, this is Brian Meehan on the left. He was later convicted of murdering here and sentenced to life in prison. Then. Two days before uh, Veronica Gaylin was murdered, John Gilligan left the country um, he was arrested 12 months later and sentenced to 28 years in prison. Between 1996 when Veronica Guerin was murdered and 2009, there was over 196 worldwide murdered journalists in the course of their work. Don't worry too much. <laughs>